Hey everybody, my name is Steve Cook and I've been invited back to Dr. McGrath's Hair Restoration Clinic here in beautiful Austin, Texas. Him and his team had me come back to answer some questions from his YouTube channel. Thank you for asking those questions. Today we're gonna to talk about natural high hairlines, not hair loss. If those of you out there that are asking this question were born with a little higher hairline, it is a very challenging conversation to have where it's a very difficult to address without actually having your photo to talk about it. So let me try to do the best I can. If you have a very high forehead and you're really uncomfortable with it, I would probably put you in the category of someone that a hair restoration procedure to actually lower that hairline could benefit you. Why? Because you really hate your high hairline. That's kind of one category where I think hair restoration could be an option. Of course, we have to talk about you know, how that's gonna be done and the new hairline placement and are you gonna be happy with that and are you expecting something too low? So there's a lot of things because you didn't have a regular hairline that you were born with and then it receded back and it thinned out and you lost it. You were just born with a high hairline. So we gotta be very careful for what our expectations are and what we're gonna look with a new hairline that is not designed by mother nature, it's designed by a doctor and it's a cosmetic procedure. But if you are displeased with it, it can help you. I would use a lot of caution for anyone male or female that just wants to get closer to a, what they consider perfect hairline. And here's why. When you have a natural hairline with no hair loss, you're set at kind of a baseline of perfection. And what that means is, is you're, that's your hairline. There's no doctor in the history of this industry that can duplicate mother nature, especially in one procedure. So what you're asking the doctor to do is to lower the hairline and duplicate what you have. It's just a little too high for you. I'll give you an example. I have a bunch of younger African-American male patients that to me, their hairline looks perfect, but they use celebrity ball players and things that have extremely lower hairlines and that's what they're chasing because you know that's their favorite nba player or whatnot and that's a mistake why well if the if the african-american male patient most of them have very strong hair we've talked about that before african-american hair is very strong hair so they have this wall of hair on a hairline and they want to lower that that could take three procedures needed for hair transplantation to pack those hairs in so tight to try to duplicate mother nature. And at the same time, when they wear their hair really low, it could cause a problem. So that's just one example. Females as well are very challenging to lower their hairlines. As a matter of fact, Dr. Epstein in Miami, a colleague of Dr. McGrath does actual hairline lowering procedures. And that might be a option first before we start to put hair transplants to lower that hairline because what Dr. Epstein is doing is actually bringing mother nature's hairline down lower. Of course, that's a surgical procedure. There's going to be a scar. So we have to look at that. So the female patients, when we look at lowering their hairlines, we have to be very careful because the females are going to want their exact same hairline, but just lowered. That may sound redundant, but we cannot duplicate that mother nature on that female. So in essence, what can happen is the female patient is not happy with the new hairline design because it's not the same as the old one. Yes, it's lower. I've seen this happen before with patients through my career and we just wanna be very careful. But so when we compare that to someone that's bald, young, old, or in between, any race, any gender, they don't have any hair. Anything they get, hopefully it's really good, they're gonna be very happy with. I hope this answers your question. We wanna be very careful when we're trying to duplicate mother nature. So hairline lowering, I would say try to shy away from or see one of these top doctors and really get their advice and see a couple doctors. And don't forget to investigate hairline lowering as well because that is the best of both worlds if that is for you. Hey, thanks for watching the videos and we'll see you real soon.